Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into another video. Today's video is here about Moji. If you are living under a rock, you probably haven't heard, but Moji is now an actual healer, a support, if you want to say it like that, because that's the name of the class. Now, Moji had to be reworked, obviously, on both cards, talents, and abilities, and even some animations. Not really animation, she didn't have many changes on animations, but she did have a UI update, for example, when you use your right click, she has now this little bar, which is very, very cool, it has little stars, it's very cool, it's called a sparkle, that, that your right click is the sparkle. Now the uh, left click is the spit, as you understand. Um, so if you're ever against a streamer or somebody just that you hate, just spit on them. That's exactly what you're going to be doing. Obviously, they had to change the way that the star system work. You know how you can apply a mark to people. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people do not know, did not knew actually, because this is going away. But if you go into live servers for now, you can still see this. But a lot of people still did not know that you can apply a mark to an enemy by using your right click. It will start filling up a little star on top of them. And if you hit the left click, the spit on a full star or just, you know, an almost full star, you will do a lot of damage. You can go up to 1000 damage, if not even more, depending on certain situations like damage amplifiers, maybe having wrecker and they having a personal shield and so on. So, right, what changed? Because a lot of people did not know that you could even apply these these marks or even do 1,000 damage. I am not kidding. I I was on the Paladins Game channel. I have I had this conversation many times for people who've been playing the game for two three years. Doesn't matter. But what they changed is that instead now you will not be leaving a mark on your enemies. Instead you'll be leaving them on your allies. Your enemies will just have to suffer with your left click and right click. So left click doing a whopping 500 and in this case you'll have a second talent here this second talent that will allow you to do more damage but if we're not using that da that talent when you're playing healer healer emoji this is around the damage you'll be doing with your right click and remember this has a resource bar so i'll be doing very slowly half of the hp of cassie um i believe this is a loadout where i already have Increase your sparkle capacity by 30%. So that's with this card. If we go for a card, if we go for a different loadout that does not have this card, like this one here does not have that card. So if I do that, and let's just kill the Cassie here so that I can see how much a full bar will do. And let's just get her out of that immune state and let's go. As you can see, you barely hit half of the HP. Now, do bear in mind that she does do 500 damage a shot. So, you know, she even does more damage than IO does with their main weapon. So it's all right. And it, it goes really far too. I, it's hard to show here because I would have to, oh, there we go. Like it goes really far. We know damage drop off. So it's actually okay, but it is a lot slower than it used to be. So. That is my first problem with this rework. She feels very slow, very weak when it comes to damage. Now, obviously, she is meant to be played as a support. Even if you do go with the second talent, the sparkle no longer slows you. And while firing, now deals 35 damage a hit. So it does more damage, essentially. It will go here with this pre-made loadout. Doesn't really matter. Um, and you will be able to do a little bit more damage. You'll just have to do this. Like, it, you'll be more lethal if you are you know close range the sparkle does pierce as somebody already stated uh, there in chat which is okay but like you just saw i i can't even kill a person by doing that uh the the spit does not pierce okay it does pierce through allies though uh yes it does pierce uh, pierce through allies so if i am shooting Imagine the Cassie would be there. As you can see, it will go through the Fernando there. And with the first talent, you'll even be able to heal the Fernando with the spit. Like I said, now they found a new unique way to put, you know, marks on people. And essentially, you'll do the right click, you have a star, and boom, you blow up the star. The star actually fills up pretty fast. Now, let me show you here just how fast we could do this with the first talent. 
Okay. So, it, significantly fast. Remember one thing. Uh, cauterize is a thing. So this is not... This is just an ideal scenario. This is not going to happen. Um, my honest opinion. If... You know, if you have a very long range map, maybe the left click um, talent will probably be the best, especially if there's characters that are very far away from you, um, because Moji, you know, she needs to get up close and personal to people with the right click, right, to then pop up the star. Uh, and if you go with the third talent, which is essentially Tooth, you know, the talent that would create the healing pools, um, they essentially do the same thing. They leave a magical uh, dust cloud behind it. Applies a lingering heal oh for 600. God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stick And I need to pause here just for a second because we just had a raid. <laughs> All right, and we're back after a awesome raid by Nerd That's a Geek. If you guys ever have the chance, go on to Twitch, check him out as well. He's also been uh, testing out Moji. He already gave me a loadout. And he explained me a couple things. Well, I'll, I'll show you the loadout once we get into into the loadout section here. But I need to talk about this as well. So when I was talking about the talent here, I talked. I was talking about the Realm Runner uh, as the raid happened, and I was talking about how when you winter scamper, you'll leave like a magical dust cloud that will heal and so on. This was essentially Tooth, and Tooth had been nerfed already. Um, the talent itself, I feel like they they, they made a change to the movement ability. That I personally don't like. I don't think it's actually, you know, it doesn't really make sense based on how we have the rest of the characters. Uh, I do understand that, for example, uh, Victor and Genos have an infinite movement ability, um, but Moji herself actually has a purpose for this movement ability, where she actually leaves that healing cloud with the third talent. First of all, first of all, I think. Um, they could have kept the damage numbers on enemies and just turn it down a little bit. That's the first thing. I feel like we could actually still have the damage numbers. The only thing, the, the stars, the, the, you know, the entire uh, connection, so on. I feel like the only thing that potentially was good with this was that people did not know about the entire interaction with the stars. So this is, you know, good for newbies. Um, I still don't know if they will understand it. They will have to apply a magic star on top of people to shoot it and heal people. I feel like Moji might become one of the hardest supports to play. Not because of that one single interaction, but because of how uh, close up personal you need to be also with people. Now, um, Nerd actually gave me a idea, which I'll get to it in a second. But back to the scamper ability. The scamper ability, what they did was they made it infinite. And you need to cancel it to go on cooldown or to do anything else. Now, I think I, you can jump while using it. And actually, jumping will allow you to do even better turns. This is something we were just discussing as well. But I think that if you try to shoot or do magic barrier or whatever, even the ultimate, I think it will um, immediately cancel it. Uh, if not, you have to repress the ability. Honestly, I'm going to show you here. And this is how it looks like. This is as fast as a mount, essentially. It is very wonky. Let's let's be very honest. If you pay attention to the movement ability, what they did is they just made the entire animation from when it starts to continue to the end loop, essentially, right? And it's okay, but I feel like they could have just done a much better job if this was supposed to be a support. What I would have done is I would have given her two charges of scamper, okay? Two charges of this, but just a normal one. And the reason for this, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. You can go and check it out. I can leave it in the end of the video as well. Where the current Moji can actually do something called bunny hopping. I I know. She's a bunny, bunny hopping. Wow, man. Like, yeah, I know. Ironic, right? No, but the thing is, you could actually gain insane momentum. You can do what this does already without actually having the ability like this. But the moment that they did this, now it's impossible to do bunny hopping, or at least I can't do it right now, and maybe we need to figure out a brand new way to do it. If we had two charges with the healing cloud, right? That would actually allow you to have two healing pools, similar to like, you could just, here's the healing pool, so you can have an idea. This is the healing pool, right? You can do one here, and then one right there if you want to. 
Okay, everywhere you would just start scampering, it would just leave that healing cloud behind. And you can have, like, you know, there's four different people you need to heal. So having individually to go like this, every single one of them, it could be very confusing, very, very hard and very impossible to do. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cross my fingers to say that Moji is definitely the best supporter is gonna heal a lot. But we'll see how this works. This is still on PDS. Obviously, some things need to change. The thing is, I would have made her have two charges. I would have made her have the healing pool by default, right? And then I would make a talent that would make her that healing pool heal for like double and also increase speed for people. That would be the talent and that would be fantastic. That'd just be fantastic, right? I would still let that first talent where the spit now heals with the, uh, you know, with, with the, ta with Sorry, the spit heals now. So like this, it will heal. Uh, which is fantastic, fantastic because let's be honest here. Um, you know, like a lot of people on long range, you can still try to shoot them. Like, I'm going to try to heal you from very away. And you maybe get a hit once or twice. So it's okay. Um, it's better than actually just make that base kit. That would just make it Bo Moji insanely busted. But having two dashes and allowing her to still bunny hop, that would be absolutely fantastic, which I can do it right here. Um, I was also mentioning the marks just before we move on because I almost forgot that. I was talking about how I would allow her to still place marks on enemies, but the mark that it would apply on enemies on top, it would be like uh, a red star. The one that you apply on allies, it would be a green star. And similar to what it does right now, when you shoot with the left click to activate the stars, it would actually pierce through allies, but hit enemies. Now, also, just so you know, this does not have to be accurate it is now an explosive let's be honest the explosion as you can see here the area it's very big as you can see and there's not a real good representation of this that's first of all that is insanely bad insanely bad that needs to be changed as fast as possible second of all the healing pool once you do with the third talent obviously but with the healing pool once you do this it is very hard to see very very hard to see and a bunch of different elements having like explosions and so on allies will not see this this will make it a lot of people probably think this is the best talent but this will probably make it the worst talent when it comes to people knowing that it's there right and then not just that newbies won't know they have to cancel this so they'll be like oh i can't move like what do i do <laughs> so they'll have to like click buttons to stop it and then they're already too far away so like i said two dashes would have just been way better honestly and it wouldn't have that clunky animation. You could have two healing pools. If they don't want to make healing pools at base kit and they had want to have that third talent, sure, fuck it. But like two dashes would have been way better because Moji suffers from the distance problem, right? So they probably thought, yeah, if we give her infinite mobility, she can just go after people. Yeah, but with the bunny hopping, which is not, you know, it's like a fine tech for, for Grover, let's be honest here. Um, it would at least give her something, right? Like, people would just need to learn, okay? It's like, for example, playing Eevee, and when you're about to land on the floor and you catch momentum, you shoot at the floor to have, you know, that momentum. Oh, also, here's another thing, now that I'm thinking about it. She has an AoE shot, but that does no... It does not do any sort of... Uh... Let me show you here no um knockback to herself have you imagined her actually doing knock up to like she jumps boom knock up to have to go upwards on a little a bigger jump or something similar to pip pip does that as well see another technique that is actually intentional well not you know that one is intentional but for example the one i was talking about you know the bunny hopping it's not really intentional but it's still a cool interaction to learn these things have now been stripped away from moji not only people are just gonna be left with a shadow of moji because i'm gonna be honest here i feel like the community is never the community just never really bothered to learn moji moji is insanely strong her ultimate is game changing if done correctly and if done to the right people with her magic barrier by the way which was cc and damage immunity um if i remember correctly they did say that now it no longer does that it just does a shield for you and people around you right so no longer can you have people getting marks from that that would also be a great thing here but now you can just do this um which is all right i guess i feel like even with 
strong numbers, this is way weaker than what the magic barrier from before was. Because here's the thing, there's an actual interaction that it's allowed by the game itself for you to do, which would have been um, using the magic barrier at the same time you use the ultimate. So you're eating an enemy and literally being immortal. Nobody can kill you while you're literally consuming that enemy alive. Right, they're transformed into a cookie that's jumping around and you just grab the cookie, snap it in half and like eat that thing while being completely immortal. That is an amazing, amazing thing that ov obviously only people who play Moji long enough or people who actually, you know, learn that straight away, know how to use it correctly, would then use it. There's even an interaction where you would just do ultimate do the dash, do the bunny hopping, and be using the magic barrier at the same time. This is something that now can no longer be done because bunny hopping is no longer a thing, and magic barrier is now a shadow of what it used to be, so... I'm trying to do here the thing, but I'm doing it too fast, sorry. <laughs> Let me just go get here to the ultimate one final time and show you exactly what I'm talking about, so... Storming somebody into an ultimate and now I'm using the magic barrier in this case magic shield still active during that time It can still be done and you'll have a shield that it's pulsing around you and your allies But it's no longer that thing. I think that what they did there was to make her a little bit less aggressive in my opinion um, As for the ultimate they did an amazing change. I like it very much. So they made the ultimate a lot stronger uh, What it does is they will now ignore anti-heal right card rise so essentially, similar to what the magic barrier would also do, because the magic barrier was cleansing anti-heal and even damages over time and so on. So another thing that you just lost, you lost immortality with Moji for that, you know, that, that brief second. You could have used it to survive a Sky ult, a Bomb King ult, no longer will you be able to do that. All of that has been stripped away from Moji. A magic being so strong that people just didn't know how to use her have now have been left in the dust and that you know that combo was fantastic um so because they stripped it away they decided to make the ultimate a bit stronger so it's the same thing you transform people into a cookie there's a limit of how much they can diminish the duration of it with resilience and so on but now it will heal you instantly for 50 percent of your max hp and ignores anti-heal so you could potentially be at 50 percent hp already and it will just heal you to 100% because, you know, 50% without considering anti-heal. So, it's okay. You know, you could be at 1 HP, pull that off, boom, you get insta-heal to 51%. So, you see my point here. So, the ultimate actually had a good change. I do not like the fact that I can no longer place the marks on enemies, and I hate the fact that the slow that, that spit is so slow. I hate the amount of resource that it has on the, her right click because I was used to just having infinite resources. Now I have a very shitty resource bar. I feel like they definitely need to buff that up. Um, I hate the, the the gutting that they did to the magic barrier, and I hate the fact that the scamper is like this. I would have just preferred it to be two charges way, way better. I don't know about you guys, but this is what I hate about it. Uh, when it comes for the talents, like I said, let's talk about the loadouts here for a second. So Nerd actually uh, hey. advised me here for a doing? actual uh, combo. Also, thank you for the fall, appreciate it. Spit Shine. Instead of going with the third one where it requires you to be near people, go with Spit Shine. Because why? I forgot to mention one thing. It increases the movement speed of people for two seconds by hitting them with the left click. And you can stack this up with that other card that I showed you. You can have it like this, have it just at four points, it's more than enough. Have a little bit here of extra sparkle so you can have more heals. And then a little bit extra HP plus allies. Sorry, the the, the healing, the, the speed is with five points, my bad. This one is with four points. This is an, also another card that I forgot to mention that it's very, very useful. People trying to get close to you or actually running away from you will actually be slowed here. And think about it like what I said, right? So Sparkle pierces through enemies and allies, which means imagine you have a Terminus with full nimble and maybe like the cards that increases the runes and so on, the, the speed, the, the, the card that increases your speed with the runes. And then you are there hitting the left click for 20% of extra speed for two seconds. And your right click increases 25% speed for three seconds. Plus, once it pierces the enemies, it will now slow them down. N sorry, not the enemies, but it pierces the allies, it hits the enemies, and it slows them down for 20%. 
So, not only are you increasing your speed from your left click and your right click to that one person, like a tank, like a flank, whatever you're doing, but you can also slow down the enemy. You are closing in a gap. You're literally buffing this ally and debuffing the enemy and just closing this gap, making this completely unfair for the enemy. I can only imagine what kind of broken shit combos we can find with other characters here, right? But this should be technically speaking throughout with in theory this should be absolutely broken and i will de definitely be testing this out um but definitely yeah i don't think i like this rework i don't think moji was meant to be support in fact um i'm gonna be perfectly honest i feel like moji should have been an echo i've already said this a bunch of different times i feel like they could have created a echo of moji they would have just did a, like the little mage of Moji where she would walk around or float around and do magic heals and so on and so and etc. Um, that she could even have a couple of different animations, different cards, different talents. That would be the support. This Moji would just maintain itself like this, and they could just change it up a little bit, uh, make her a little bit easier to use and easier to uh, uh, for newbies because obviously Moji is not being used very much because people do not know how to play her and do refuse to learn. So. There you have it. He got his team teammates up to 74% bonus. Is this like final value or are we talking about or are we talking about just adding values on top of each other without diminishing returns? Like does that have diminishing returns already? Like is that the final the final count? 74% on top with normal movement. Because there's always diminishing returns, Midgard. Mid Midwater, sorry. Um so having like you have 25% here, right? You got 20% with the left click. That on diminishing returns makes 25% the first bonus. The second bonus be 20%. That 20% goes around to almost like 10%. So it becomes a 35% in total, actually. So yeah, if nobody knows about diminishing returns, uh, I actually have a video uh, which teaches you that. But you can also just go on Google and search for diminishing returns calculator paladins and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about um although speed obviously has it a little bit different because it can it, the limit is higher than the rest the rest has like 95 percent max uh speed has a 150 percent max and 150 percent mind you 150 percent is on top of the 100 percent of movement speed you already have right so having 150 percent on top you essentially become 2.5 times faster. So it's not that broken. Like, people might be thinking it's insanely broken. It's not. Um, Genos was helping too. That's correct. Genos also had a couple of changes. He now has a card that applies speed to people. Uh, you can then also stack up some nimble, any potential lethality, which has been buffed. So you can imagine a five man team, Moji and Genos together, applying shield, speed, and heals, right? um to three people just dashing over to the enemy i can only imagine what a team with two off tanks and a damage or slash support with emoji and a genos together what it would actually cost but i feel like that would cause a lot of fucking pain i might give it a try though <laughs> So yeah, there you have, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. My problem with Moji and her, her we work and why I don't actually like it. My phone keeps receiving notifications. It actually, is a friend of mine sending me messages. All right, um, but um, yeah, there you have it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on the Moji rework. Uh, I will be coming up soon with some gameplay as well. Uh, and I apologize for the not instant uploads in the right the first day immediately as it came out. Also. Just so you know, the talents were actually locked and they only got unlocked today. Uh, the last two uh, talents. Um, a death ball. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll come up with some gameplay. And also I have a video with a sort of life update that I would like to bring over to you guys about me, the channel and so on. Uh, so yeah, watch out for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, have a wonderful time. Again, don't forget to go check out Nerd That's a Geek. I'll try to get, leave the link at the end of the video because you so kindly helped, my, helped me up a couple of stuff here and also gave me a loadout. And uh, yeah, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching.